Well, hey. You remember how a few months ago I did a playroom declutter and organization video? Yeah, about that. Well, Christmas happened, quarantines happened, bringing out some big guns and we're doing some big trash bags today. Hey, I forgot to say hi because I was just so focused on the mess that's here. But I'm Sue with The Livable Life. Glad you're joining me today. Hit that subscribe button and the notification so we can be friends. Okay, so it's a different day, obviously. Um, actually, it's been a few days with the weekend and so the kids were home and yeah, I'm tired. I told myself if I can work on this and get it close to done, I can go take a nap, which I think that's fair. So I basically at this point have to kind of start over because the kids just tore through here and I don't know what they're doing. We've kind of decided that we're going to just get rid of most of the toys at this point because they just like to play with this cushion set we got, the nugget knockoff that we got from Sam's Club. We're thinking about getting another one because they've been playing house. They've been playing hotel. They've been playing build a robot, like all the things. I'd rather have them do that than have this mess of everything being around here. So it still is using their imagination. They're, you know, thinking of all these super fun things to do without having all these little pieces around. So wish me luck. So I know a lot of people will comment like, how can you just throw away all of their toys? I'm not throwing away all of their toys. And the thing is, they know. Like, I'm not doing this to deceive them. They know that they can't handle this much stuff. And we've worked together, but the truth is, they cannot handle having this much that can be dumped out. And they have been having so much fun. Every night they're playing with these cushions. So all these little pieces that can get lost. Like this set, you know, I made this little container with this. But the thing is, only the doll and the puppies get played with. None of the rest of this, it just gets lost. I'm just gonna throw the rest of this away because why have more floating around? I will keep the doll because my daughter does like to play with it and the puppies. The rest of it's going. I got rid of the big Play-Doh container just because it's just too awkward. So I'm putting it all into this little container here. Obviously, they're not doing a great job taking care of the Play-Doh. So we're gonna have to probably start over with a lot of Play-Doh. This is all been left out. The Play-Doh bin is now up on a high shelf, so the kids can still play with it whenever they want. They just have to ask and take it to the kitchen table so this mess doesn't happen again. Math cubes I thought would be a good idea, but they're just everywhere. And they're going to... They've never actually been used for math. And things like... There's this uh, dog game. I'm using a contractor bag because my other ones were not sturdy enough. I could put myself in here, you know. There it is. So this game, as fun as it is in theory, they never actually play it. It just gets taken out and the pieces are everywhere 
it's a, the pooping dog like you have the leash that you squeeze and it, the little poop comes out and but then there's these tokens everywhere if it actually got played with I wouldn't be so concerned but it just ends up all over so we're saying goodbye and I know a lot of people might say like why don't you try and donate it because for me to try and find all the pieces like places like Goodwill are just gonna do the same thing I am I was a team leader at Goodwill for a few years trust me we don't want the broken stuff to be donated because well it's yeah they could recycle it they do recycle things but for them to try and go through and pick out like hmm, does this go with this and is it a complete set that's wasting their valuable time and I don't want to do that so it's way easier for me just to pitch it and get in the mindset that oh maybe someone else could use it no they're not going to because it's not complete it's you know if, if there's missing pieces it's broken no one else is going to use it it's taking up space in my family's life and it's just affecting my sanity so it's going in the trash sorry to the planet we're gonna try and bring in less stuff that's all i can say to try and make up for it and i know i mentioned my sanity but i should also point out that it's for my entire family i was talking with my seven-year-old daughter last night and she's very overwhelmed with her own bedroom because she still has too much stuff in there and she has said that she doesn't actually want any toys in there now because it's too much for her to handle she can't handle picking up and putting it away. She's still learning all those tools to use. It makes me realize that I'm on the right track because I'm doing this for all of us, not for me. Granted, it's going to be beneficial for me, but it's really for my kids and our whole family because we want to be able to be happier in our own home. Now, I'm constantly seeing Facebook posts of other moms who are so overwhelmed with their kids' stuff. And I just want to reach out and hug them because I feel it. I'm there. I have been there. Y'all, this bag of my daughter's. I was wondering what the smell is. Can you see it in there? Let's see. A very very black rotten banana oh my god this whole bag is just getting thrown away that's so gross i cannot believe it yuck this has been so long and i finally feel like i'm heading in the right direction just with trying to figure out oh we really cannot have this much stuff in our house and it's so much more beneficial taking that step towards minimalism. I'm never going to be a true minimalist. It's just not possible. But learning that less is okay. I don't need all this extra stuff. My kids do not need all of this extra stuff to be happy. And I know one of the root causes is from my own desire to please my children by buying them gifts. And family members have that same desire. But the problem is, it gets to be just too much. Think about it. Your kids see an ad on TV for a toy. All these LOL dolls or Paw Patrol toys, whatever it may be. The next coolest thing. And you're like, oh, I'm going to get it for them and surprise them. And they're going to be so happy. And they'll be like, oh, yay. But hey, did you see this other cool toy that's on TV? I want that too. It's never going to be enough for your kids. We have to realize that they're getting inundated with ad after ad after ad anytime that they're on any sort of tech time or their friends at school have different toys that, oh, it's so cool. Why do they get to have that? I want that. Well, okay, when you go to their house, you can play with it. We have our own toys here. It's never going to be enough if you stay in that mindset. I've already cleaned some of this out. <laughs> Stuff just gets shoved so far underneath my husband's desk. It's ridiculous. It's so gross. This needs to be scrubbed so bad. 
But oh my gosh, just so much stuff. Day three. This is your gentle reminder that if you have a big project like this, it doesn't have to get done in one day. It doesn't have to get done, you know, you may think like, oh, you know, other people can do it in like an hour. It's not true. It's not true. Especially if you got kids, you got life you have to take care of if you work. It's going to take you more than one day, most likely, if it's a bigger project, unless you're able to devote a lot of time and energy. I've been dealing with a fibromyalgia flare up, and I just don't have the energy to be able to spend the entire day doing this because my body just gives out. So I need to save my energy and my strength and my sanity and spread it out. I'm fairly confident I can get it done today though, but don't beat yourself up if you can't get it done in one sitting because it's not reality. Okay, especially if you're watching like a 15 minute video, like a lot of YouTube ones, that's a lot of editing and a lot of time sped up. So once my kids walked in and saw this all picked up and how much room there was, they were pretty excited that they had all that room for activity. And they have not asked for anything that I've thrown away or put in the donate box. They haven't noticed the stuff that was gone just because there was so much. They appreciate the space that they now have to play. And I think they're also thankful that it's not so much causing them anxiety and stress when they're in this room because it's a lot. They step on toys. It hurts them. It doesn't feel good. So they were definitely okay with this. All right, here we have it. Got rid of a lot of stuff. This shelf over here is now mostly like Peppa Pig toys. Um, my son had gone through and got rid of a bunch of his cars that he just didn't want anymore, which is great. So now we just have this little bucket. The Dora house was just broken beyond repair. So that had to go. We still have the accessories because my daughter still likes to play with them just on the floor. Um, some puzzles, sensory bins, Osmo stuff. Um, the food. They like to use the food on like the little farmer's market thing when they use the cushions. And they make like a little stand or something. I don't know. I put this bucket of dolls over here. I'm not in love with it, but it's what I have for right now. And let's see the desk. I turned this into the Nerf station because my daughter was just not using it for her craft supplies. So that's where the Nerf things are right now. Books. This pile, this all this stuff right here is to either be donated or thrift sale, whatever. So that all is leaving. And then my husband's desk, I can't do much about that. This shelf, you know, reduced the amount of games that were on there, especially the ones that they didn't really play, but they just dumped things everywhere. And I need to finish setting up like the Wii and Roku and all that stuff. So that's a big tangle of cords up there, but whatever, it'll happen. And back here, that giant garbage bag is garbage, and I took out another big garbage bag <laughs> in addition to that one. So, there we have it. I'm hoping that I can keep getting rid of stuff and just keep making it easier for my kids to live, for me and my husband to live. That's just my goal. So again, I hope you got something out of this. Give me any suggestions, comments, likes. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more. And I will catch you next time.